Hey, the topic of the Daiwa Three Rivers Marine Tech Line today was fish and divers, both in the estuaries and in the sound, and, and kind of the main topic of discussion today was fish and divers in the sound. You know, CQ, and of course out here in the Puget Sound right now, the Everett Coho Derby is going on right now. Cohos are tend to be a little shallower, and you could definitely run a diver for cohos right now, Tom. So tell me, uh, tell me how we want to rig up with, with one of these divers and, and what they are to begin with. This is a deep six, of course, but let's talk about that a little bit and how you rig that up, Tom. You know, and these are an absolute staple in all our estuary fisheries, Grays Harbor, Buoy 10, all that stuff. But, but I tell you what, they're, they're, an, they're an overlooked piece of gear in, in Puget Sound and, and uh, just a dynamite way to catch coho. Because you're, you're talking about a piece of gear that's going to fish different depths for you. Are you going to dial it in like a downrigger and fish accurately? No. But that's not what you're trying to do when you're coho fishing. We're, we're trying to cover a lot of water. And, and these Les Davis Deep Six divers are going to do that for you. One of my favorite ways to, to rig them up is also to add a rotating flasher to the back of this thing. When you get when you get hit, you're, you're getting, this thing's going to pop off for you. And so you're not fighting anything. It's that's just, what's nice about these compared yeah. to running a big heavy lead is that thing pops open for you and if they don't pop open right when the fish hits you grab the rod give it a, a good crack and it'll pop that thing open and you're not fighting the diver you're not fighting the diver and that's a big key piece of information so starting at the reel and uh, you know in the old days we never had these line counters this this Daiwa Saltist LC is just a killer reel excellent drag you get a, you get to put just in, just the same amount of line you want every time repeat your deep repeat your line out this is kind of a convertible terminal rig. You can run a chunk of lead off this slider, got a gum pucky above and mm -hmm. below. You've got your bead chain going through your McMahon snap. That's a dynamite way to do business. Very tough business end right here. 65 or 70 pound, in this case, Daiwa Samurai braid and a six power lamina, lama glass 10 and a half foot rod. This is a diver rod. As you troll through the water, you're pulling on that hard and this rod is equal to the task, Robo. And this gives it a lot of cushion too. Oh, this, yeah. is, this is basically your downrigger rod as well. Yeah. And it, it really works well for fishing these divers. So now what do you do? You're, you're, we got coho's in the sound here. Yep. You put it out, you go strips. Obviously with a line counter, you don't need to do that. But if you, you don't. don't have a line counter, you're gonna go strips and you wanna be what? 50, 20, 30, 50, yeah, 100, I'm, I'm 15 strips? or 16 strips. 30 feet. Yeah, yeah roughly right. 30 feet behind the boat. And, yeah. and you know, and, and the faster you troll, the more that thing's gonna dive. So then we're six feet behind this to your, to your cut plug or you can even run a spinner and that's more of a this is more of a columbia river or grace harbor setup with that spinner, with spinner. i probably wouldn't run that in the sound but I've, work. I've caught coho on the have you yes, really? i've okay. caught coho on okay. spinners in the sound so if you don't have if you don't have a, if you're a cut plug but this is definitely I, I'm it's a like, herring rig number one yeah. number one would be herring and then you know you got you got your fish flash behind this thing too um to add a little more attraction early in the morning you're going to get it done doing this but you know they, they joke around call it the poor man's downrigger definitely these these divers have a place in your coho box and and you know what don't be surprised if you get bit on a king too well I mean, the game changer with this whole diver rig has been the line counter yep. reels and the braided line that's changed everything now you can pretty much you know you don't have so much cushion with that mono stretching all over the place you can dial this thing right in you can let it down to the same depth every single time so if you get bit at a certain depth you can go right back there and get on the fish. This is a go-to technique. I it, mean, CQ right now, they're, yep. they're stroking the yep. cohos out there right now. And for the Ever Coho Derby, which is going on right now, there's 700 boats on the sound. I tell you what, I bet you there's a, more than a few fish caught on this diver setup. With, without question. And the point you make about the braid is well taken because the braid for its breaking strength is a lot thinner than, than the monofilament. So that gear is going to get down to the strike mm -hmm. zone that much better. You don't, you're not battling drag. stretch. A lot yeah, less drag a lot less in drag. the water. You can get right downtown. So this is a, a Lure Jensen uh, Deep Six. Deep and six this is dive. kind of the main deal for fishing in the sound, right? This is what I, you want. Without, without question. Yeah. That's that's the one you want to go to. And that's probably the one I would use for coves right I like now. that. Chartreuse, Chartreuse is definitely Chartreuse. a great color for Later in the day, you can think about going to the clear, you know, and don't don't shy away from reds for coho either. You know, just a, just a great way to get things done and a change-up technique. Not everybody's going to be using this kind of stuff. So you could be working a different portion of the water column because there's going to be guys using lead in the derby today. There's going to be a lot of guys using downriggers. This is a way to kind of bridge that gap between those two techniques. There you go, fishing divers in the Puget Sound for coho salmon. That's your Threers Marine Tech Line tip of the week. Thanks for watching. Checking us out next Saturday, 6 to 8 o'clock 
on 710 ESPN Seattle.